Okay. What's wrong? I was talking to Sophie here and I heard her whinny and I'm like, oh, that's Willow. Somebody escaped. Willow! Is that the round bell? How did she escape? Where was she? In the big arena with the two other horses. So. <laughs> So that means they're all out. No, I don't think they all are. I don't okay. think so. Maybe she knows how to do it. Oh, I have to work on the door. The next yeah. Whoa. I mean, <laughs> we knew we were going to have to work on that door. Here. Yeah, I don't know what happened. How did she get out? She jumped it. How? Do you guys see how she got out? She. Houdini. Houdini, but the little one didn't get out. Anyway, good morning guys. Welcome out. to today's video. We had to make some more changes on the farm. Little Miss Meanie got a stall. She was licking. She, so a mistake we made was we decided to make this area so that our horses could, could be in a group at night. We did it for years in our old arena. It worked beautifully. The problem with this space is that it's just too small. So we had four horses in here, well one horse and three tiny horses, and we could tell it didn't work. So then we moved two of the horses over to this, a mom and a baby, <laughs> and it worked beautifully. So then we only had one horse and one mini in this section, and Penny was still too t food territorial, so we had to separate her. So Willow was sporting a few little cuts on her bum. And that's not worth it. It's not worth it. So we either need a bigger space for them to be together or we're going to have to use stalls. These guys are good. They're mom and baby. They love each other. The Gracie has got the patience of a saint with her. Her cut is healed instantly. Healed already. We cleaned it. She had a little cut on her bum. And we cleaned it and we put some antibiotic cream on it and healed. Good thing she was only eating hay, which she gets any night every night anyways. Who knows when she got out? We'll have to check the cameras. Like, could she push that open? Push it. Uh, lock on the outside? Locks on the outside as well as the inside? Special latches it is. Anyway, that's the second time she's gotten out recently. I've seen some comments recently saying that they miss Gabby. Yeah, we all miss Gabby. She comes home all happy. I showed you guys this box that I got. I'm going to actually get to work on it today because it's like the last day, second last day that I get to stay home. Actually, last day that I get to stay home, do whatever I want around the farm. So I'm gonna get Sam to put some hinges on here and I'm going to paint this because he says I have to paint it in order for these wood stickers to stick to it. So I'm gonna make it look like wood. I don't know which way. They actually almost are almost perfect to go that way. Anyways, I'm gonna put these wood stickers. I got dark ones and light ones. They don't really match each other because they're totally different colors. But anyway, I wanted it to kind of look like that. An update on these ropes that we bought. Recently we bought these ropes. I showed you guys in a video. And I, we love them. And we're gonna use them as lead ropes for the goats or for the horses. So what I ended up doing was sewing on these hooks that I had and voila, lead ropes. So I did three of them because I only had three good loops, but I did this blue and white, whoops. I, I did this blue and white one blue and gray one for Sophie's new horse. I'm gonna hang that up. And I did this pink one for her, and then I did this burgundy and blue one, which is really cute. I like it for Penny. I need, to, I need to find another hook and do one for Gabby's new horse and hang it up as well. Sophie, where do you want these, these hooks? The blue one is for... Your new horse? Yeah, so Storm's not No. I'm gonna make more. This isn't gonna last very long, but. It's, it's, how is that not gonna last long? I should make these. These are so cool. There's no way that this is gonna break. So they have give to them. They have give. Whoa, but once you give, Sophie. You're not strong. 
I'm not strong. I'm old. They have give to them, that's what she means, but they actually are really strong. So there we go, I like them. I think they're really cool, actually. This is where we separate. <laughs> I go down and do the goat chores while they do this. Penny now has a stall, you guys. I am so excited. I hate this stall too. Do you, there's only one reason I hate it. Why do you hate it? Because it's dark. It's dark. That's why I hate it too. But we can fix it. Dad can put lights in here. Yeah, you can. You can buy like lights that you just push and like her battery. Or he can wire up something. I don't know, it's dark. But other than that, it's just a normal stall. But I'm excited, this is gonna be the home of your new horse. I feel it coming every day, closer and closer. I'm on the brink of finding Sophie the best horse. And I have a few contenders for Gabby too. Oh my gosh, Penny laid down in the night. See the difference between having that big space to lay down and having a stall? You laid in poo, Pen. Yeah, definitely Penny has the hole. And she enjoys it. That's her hole. Storm, you need the hole. Gabby wants to show Storm one time before the end of the season. She wants to put him in a derby and she has a little while to get him all fitted up for jumping, which means a lot more riding on her part, which is kind of exciting. She'd have to jump him small, which is what he's comfortable with anyways. He doesn't, he's not a, high jumping horse but time will tell you guys if Gabby has time and she puts the work in she is going to get Storm ready to jump. I want to clean up this barn area. I love this area for our goats. I love everything about it. I want to clean it up, make it a little less dingy, a little bit nicer for us coming down, hanging out with the goats. And I discovered when trying to move this shelf that it's actually two different shelves, which is, so, oh, actually, it's meant to go together. It's got that little thing there, but I could separate it and make it into two different shelves, which I think I'm gonna do. So is it a fledgling? I don't think so. You think he's hurt? I don't know. He likes me. <laughs> I don't think he does. Sophie's obsessed with finding live wi uh, wildlife on the farm and trying to raise it you and just bring let it. Me, I don't want to raise it. Well, you wanted to raise the mice. Okay, well, the mice are babies. Well, he's cute. Should we go let him out? Yeah. Let him free? But look at his eye, though. Oh, goodness. Huh, I think we could fix that. With molasses water? Yeah, or I have some antibiotics that I use for the chickens, like some natural I antibiotics. Think it ran into the fence because it was. What? what is that doing? Oh, you scared me. I let him in. I leave him in. Sylvie always comes down and distracts me. I get this like big work groove going on and then. Poof, Sophie's here and I'm busy. And I, come here. So I leave the little boy down. I let the little boy come in. He's eating grain that fell on the ground underneath there. It's so cute. I don't know, should we fix him or should we let him go? I say we give him some molasses water and then we let him go. I don't know if he'll drink with us. So that's what she's talking about. <laughs> Please just, I let him come in with me when I'm doing stuff because he's got nobody. He's got a buck that wants him to be there and wants him when he wants him, but for the most part, just pushes him away from the, the fence line. So I let him spend as much time with us as he can. I don't know. I think we should just let him go. Oh, so cute. I think we could fix his eye. We should put 
like a bowl of molasses water out there for the birds. So if you guys don't know what she's talking about. As with people, it's just a lost art now, but as with people, um, food can be healing and, and herbs especially can be healing and molasses, you know, like um, molasses that you find in horse feed, it is full of vitamins and minerals and oftentimes, just like what you saw with Chino, is that if... Oh, what about the black seed thingies? If an animal... I'll send them off with that. If an animal or even a person gets run down for whatever reason, then disease has, disease can take root a lot easier. I don't know how to say it to make it sound better, but so oftentimes if our chickens look like a little bit run down or if anybody, if, if they look like the hair is any kind of an issue at all, about every two months, I give them a little bit of molasses in their water and then they all perk up again. Like it's such a good thing. It cures everything it can cure. Um, it can cure rye neck. It can cure like food heals as long as you're eating the right kinds of foods. Okay, so she's so terrified. She's just not going to eat because <laughs> she's scared, especially with dogs running around. She's not used to people. Let's let her out here. Actually, all right. Let's let her out here. All right, let's let him out here. <laughs> Sophie walks with her head on the ground and hope. Hey, Ellie! Ellie! Stop! She Can comes running out like a bat out of you know where. It's a bit stunned. We could leave it in the barn and it could fly out through the, the door if you want to do that. Theo, you want to be? All right, so I, yeah, it does look kind of like bland. No. <laughs> um, so I want to hang up something up here, like a picture, or I have a couple of pictures, but, or I could hang up, I don't know what we could hang up here. What could we hang up? Jen, <laughs> we need you. I want to utilize the barn a little bit better. Ellie wants to, to be wild. She wants to run wild. I brushed her whole body this morning. So the other part of this barn that I've been working on is my little feed room. Ugh. I wanted a shelf. That's my garbage bag. But I wanted a little shelf over here. All right, this room is really tiny. I have some countertops, old countertops, up in the top of this barn, and I could hang it across there, and I could put wheels on these buckets, and then it would look nicer. Ideas, people, give me ideas. Oh, this is my diatomaceous earth. I need a lid. This is my minerals. I'm going to put it down there. All right, so I put my minerals down there. It's not going to work. I'm going to have to get another container like this that I can store some minerals in that I can just pull out. And I'm going to use this little table here, this little container, um, to put my feed pans on because I mix up our food. And then over here I have, yes, I know you're there. I have all of our garbage cans all of our feed cans. This one has oats in it that I sometimes give the goats in the winter. I'm gonna switch it up and give them beet pulp instead. It all fits nicely except for this thing. And this is the thing I keep my grain in and I like this thing. This We used to keep chicken food in this. We've done like, maybe I'll get rid of it, put the chicken food in it again for the winter and then get another can. I wish I could fit four cans all the way across there then I'd have no room for my hay. What are you doing? That was a dumb choice. He tried to jump through the door. Dumb, dumb choice. I'm starting to learn that goats don't always make good choices. So technically I can mix up my grain over here and get it ready for nighttime. So I have one bucket for each goat that I feed them and then I have another bowl bucket for mixing. All right, well that looks cuter. I just need to clean up that window. Oh, this is a view that never gets old, especially with the gorgeous trees behind. And the view is all the animals sharing. Like, that's just crazy to me. How are the goats going to fit? Did you see that? He just, he's like, get out of my way. And she didn't move, so he tapped her on the butt. They want to do stuff. They want to, they're like, oh my gosh, she's got Sorry, something wait. fun. Let's do it. Okay, Penny, tomorrow. Tomorrow's the last hot day. We're gonna do some stuff, okay? <laughs>
So Sophie brought this in the field and all the horses came over, even Penny. She's look excited. Look how thick she looks. She does look thick. Oh my God. Careful, there's one. Sophie's making me go through this little fenced area so that the goats will follow ah, us. And did you guys see, have you guys noticed? My, I don't think you can see, but our horses are pretty much like clean oh horses. Come on. Uh, they don't poop, they don't want to poop around their food. So they all, they did it at our old house in the arena too. They all poop on the grass. Which makes it really good for cleaning. Why did we go this way, Mom? Because you made me go this you way. Made me go this way. Oh, God. <laughs> it's not fun. Are the goats even following? The goats are not even following. Oh. Here comes Blossom. Oh, Bloss. Oh. They all came. <laughs> they're like, we'll let them get a head start because they're slow. So we decided to see if the goats could go through a tunnel, but it's actually quite small. We're never having the barbecue. Why? What happened? Because look. Oh man. There's five dead eggs. And oh. there's a baby farming one. You see those little spot things? This is the one that had the baby. Oh. See? That was the baby. Sophie's disgusted by our barn cat. There's an egg here. That's a tiny little egg. There's a lot of them. Oh. Wow. That just happened this afternoon. Yeah. So there is a nest up there. Quick, move that bench so I can see if there's anything. Oh, I can't see. I'm gonna have to feel. Ah! Stop! <laughs> no, there's no more. <laughs> yeah, that's the only nest. So Ollie killed five ate babies. the eggs. Five babies. So Sophie said it's not gonna work. Why is it not gonna work? Because their horns get stuck and they freak out. So we need a bigger tunnel. Ah, ah. Oh, let's get the duck and goose to go through it. How? Sorry, guys. Did you use that leash on them? Yes. Did it work? No. Why? Blossom was just strangling. <laughs> well, that sucks. That baby bird's. Could down you down. try and get them to jump over it? Yeah, I tried to do that with Blossom. So the last thing I'm gonna try with my goats because. <laughs> Even though I'm feeding them so much food, I've had them tested. There's nothing wrong with them. They still aren't chubby. And I don't want like super chubby goats, but I want them to be like a little bit chubby. Come here. Come here, Actually, she looks really good. But anyways, so the only other thing that I can think of is that I'm gonna get a pro, uh, I'm gonna get them a probiotic because if, you're, if your stomach isn't good, then that can make all the difference. So that's what I'm gonna try. I'm gonna get them a probiotic and see if it makes a difference because uh, by how much these guys eat, they should be fat. They have unlimited of everything. That's one of the hard things about buying like goats from other people is you get like any issues that they used to have. Our little male though, like our little buck, he's, he's in perfect condition. <laughs> they finally have the giant bear. $250. I love it. All right, so we made our weekly Costco trip. But we waited till the end of the day so we could bring Gabby. Sophie loves croissants. I am editing. And unfortunately, I have a little companion here that comes and sits with me every day. When we got these two little pea fowl, one had really bad legs and we were able to fix the legs. Oftentimes when they're born with messed up legs, it's a sign of other issues. And sadly it was like that with our other little pea fowl. She passed away a couple of days ago. So even though we were able to fix her legs, we weren't able to save her. So unfortunately we have this one little guy left and I vent checked him. It's easier to vent check pea chicks. Did you guys know that? It's super easy. He's lonely and I don't want him to die. So I'm having to spend so many hours every single day. I sit with him. I bring him with me everywhere I go. When I'm editing, he's with me. He dust baths on this chair because he feels like he can scratch on it. He rolls around on it. He eats on it. He poops on it. Every night I wash it and get it all cleaned up for the next day. And he just spends time with me. He cuddles in my hair and he sleeps with me. 
The only time he really wants to eat is when we're with him, so that's why I have to do so much of it. I'm looking for another little chick that I can keep with him so he's not lonely. Um, I don't think it's beneficial for him to get too attached to us because eventually he's going to have to live outside. But anyway, that's the status of the pea chicks. Only one left, and he's a healthy boy. And it's a bit like having a newborn, but that's okay. Whatever it takes to keep him healthy. Don't you know that